Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampath you are watching Sampath SamFX YouTube channel and this is Poco X3 Pro custom ROM reviews guys this is most requested video movie yeah this is how the review I mean the Go Plus 2 MIUI based custom ROM available for Poco X3 Pro stay tuned till the end of the video everything related to this ROM will be explained in this video and by the way if you first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and this is the Golo Plus team MIUI 14.0.3.0 TZU MI XM for Poco X3 Pro you can see the technical specification here into specs you get android version 13 here as you can see the vibration haptic feedback is also really good in this particular rom and kernel user is 4.14.180 puff kernel has been used and the security patch is may 1st 2023 internal storage these are the things available in the settings and this is how settings panel looks actually it's very very smooth here as you can see it's not completely me a th something theme has been applied on the thing and this is typical home scan this is app drawer if i press and hold here yeah you get these kind of options again you will go to this settings later and this is the quick settings panel which is kind of uh, ios style but looks great you get all this kind of icons here as you can see it is also smooth in my opinion if i can turn on flashlight yeah like this you can do that I really like the quick settings panel it looks different and kind of iOS style but definitely better than other ROMs yeah let's see some of the benchmark results first before that I want to show this one safety net status yes it will get passed you can use all the payment applications like Google Pay phone pay whatever you want to use those going to work fine in this particular ROM DRM information again you will get a level 1 certified you can watch all the OTT applications in high definition resolution FM radio will be given here yeah Instagram WhatsApp social media experience is fine in this room you will never face any problem I will be also showing out the BGM gameplay before that let me show the benchmark results you can also see the uh, app opening time here as you can see 6 lakh 71 thousand 77 is the score what I got and temperature raise was around like 4 yeah 3.5 degrees Celsius and 3 percent of battery has been dropped during this entire testing of and to benchmark testing in this particular room let's see in the gallery yeah yeah I have run this CPU throttling test let's see what all the recognized text feature is given as you can see the text whatever present in the photograph will get selected from here and you can copy it to anywhere directly into whatsapp or you can share anywhere and there is even adjust feature and you can directly create the pdf from here which is a quite interesting one uh, and also productive watermark set as these things are fine here details again you can see this is the options given in this particular rom and this is a hundred third test guys and CPU throttling results you can see maximum is around 202 average is 154 and minimum is 119 and it's throttled to 71 percent of its max performance there is a little bit of throttling going on in this particular ROM but it's fine and single score of 810 and multi score of 200 and sorry 2252 with the kernel as I already said this is a score with Geekbench 6.2.0 these are the available benchmark results if I go into settings you get these kind of settings here I will start with additional settings you get these kind of options you can choose language and input check out your language because some of the people ask about this it's is that language is available or not you can check out you can pause the video and see whether your language is given or not and also you can choose the keyboard from here you can choose either Xiaomi keyboard or the Google keyboard again region also you can pause the video and check out whether your country is given or not majority of the countries has been given in this particular ROM yeah too many yeah that's how accessibility menu is also given it's a handy feature without actually using the physical buttons of volume you can actually utilize this toggle and turn it on turn it off and other options also you can do that from here which is a handy feature and gesture shortcuts you can uh, take a free three finger screenshot from here volume down plus power button to make it like this and turn on torch double press to power button if not you can do that those things of customization in order to uh, get a google assistant wake you can do that too 
you can assign the uh, whatever I said the gestures you can do that from here again quick palettes and handy feature again but most of them will not use that uh, if you want you can use that that's fine one handed mode is also given just swipe like this it will go into one handed mode and clear speaker option is given floating windows again it's a handy feature and most interesting features in MIUI and it's evolved in the MIUI 14 memory extension up to 5 GB is given second space LED light uh, notifications are not showing currently for me um, for notification it is showing for charging it is not showing enterprise mode is also given here now moving into screen time there is nothing but a digital well being and apps again you get this kind of apps system app settings default apps you will get also here from manage apps and you can choose the default app from here which is a quite similar to any MIUI based custom roms again battery you get save battery and performance mode you also get extreme battery saver i mean ultra battery saver is also given the battery life is uh, really good and you will get this kind of uh, temperature results instead of showing the uh, result in degree celsius of fahrenheit it is showing is it a warm cool or normal based upon that you can check it out the battery life is good and you will get that 33 watt charging support on this poco x Zero after flashing this go plus rom i know many of the people are waiting for gaming uh, review will be seeing seeing soon but before that i want to explain what are the things you get in there privacy and safety and even password and security you get both a uh, fingerprint and face unlock let me add the fingerprint unlock let's see yeah just tap it and uh, yeah by the way if you're first time to this channel hit the subscribe button guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like this is how adding fingerprint scanner takes time and if you add multiple times it will be easy in my opinion and here you need to select touch in order to get within a single axis let me show you that as you can see the fingerprint unlock is very very quick in this particular room now the uh, face unlock yeah as you can see that's how the face unlock works you can skip the screen once face unlock has been done from here as you can see again that option also i will show you here as you can see stay on lock screen after unlocking you can disable from that these are the options you get once again i want to show that yeah as you can see just press it face unlock just done even the fingerprint unlock is also very very quick in my opinion these all the settings you get under in the home screen you get bunch of customization before that i'll show these things control center style everything remains same here status bar here you get option to if you scroll down here you get option to uh, play in full screen if certain app is not playing in the full screen you can enable like this for example in bgma you can see always show notch but press this then it will be played in a full screen in my I'm gonna show LT icon for 4g and show connection speed if you want you get these kind of options related to status bar and control style style you get these things and additional cards you can add them if you don't want them you can disable that from here sound and vibration it looks similar and sound effects you get just preset nothing like a Dolby Atmos or anything like that additional settings you get other options to enable or disable from here sound assist you get it if you want you can activate from here display settings you get dark mode this is how it looks in the dark mode it's not in pitch black totally yeah what's fine it's an LCD display and refresh rate you can manually select 90 60 or 120 auto is not given but keep it to 120 it will be smooth experience in my opinion you get some of the reading mode options also that's fine and color scheme yeah we'll be explaining that because it is also necessary one color scheme you get this kind of options nothing like p3 gamut or like that but it's fine in my opinion again lock screen customization you get all these kind of options from here now moving into home screen you get bunch of customization animation speed you can choose speed when open app operation you can in adjust the intensity of that and also you can completely disable the animations from here system navigation again gestures and bars these kind of things are given in this particular rom minus one screen is also given from here app vault is also given 
and customization in system navigation you get gestures and buttons you also get options to disable google assistant or enable from here gesture confirmation also you can do from here minus one screen customizations also you get plenty here you can disable or you can even keep the google discover from here home screen again you get plenty you can select even light mode classic with app drawer is given you can even hide the app drawer from here backgrounds you can keep it out manage app categories if you want you can do that you can even customly manify i mean my okay app category from here double tap to lock screen is given unlock animation you can choose from here fill cells of uninstalled apps home screen search bar search bar provider search bar styles also there are few i have selected these blur level rounded widgets fold widgets provider floater bar speed lot more customization arrange items in recents this how i kept the uh, ios recents as you can see this how it looks it is smooth actually i haven't seen this much of smoothness in any of the mua based roms this is the one and this is the quick settings panel also looks too much like a ios kind of thing if you want to use that and if you apply any ios theme to this particular rom it will be completely turned into iphone ios kind of uh, design in this particular rom blur in recents also you can keep it simple complete and other things can be done and you can also hide the floating windows text style status bar show blurred icons from here these are the customizations available in this particular rom let's see how it will handle in the bgma before going that some people also want to know how the wallpapers are given in this particular room that also i will show you these super wallpapers I haven't downloaded and this thing of glow go wallpapers go plus wallpapers are given and this i really like it molten glass if you are in dark mode it will automatically change it to dark mode let me show that as you can see entire theme will be changed into dark mode the wallpaper what i am saying i hope you understand that let's see the dialer you get me a proper me a dialer and also you get a uh, call recording feature here as you can see it will not announce that other person is recording your call like that announcement is not done in this particular rom and camera also you get proper leica integrated miui camera all the features are given you can see here just download them more options you get all the log log pro those kind of options are given in the portrait mode you get aperture and photo mode you get all kind of options available in the video the maximum resolution is 4k 60 fps if i go into uh, ultra wide even there also you should get 4k but simply missing in this particular rom that you need to keep in mind while you flash this rom this is the one thing you miss it out because natively you will get 4k support that's simply missing in this particular rom for ultra wide i am speaking and let's see what all the graphic settings we get how it handles in bgma kind of game graphic settings is set to normal here i mean smooth plus extreme only as you can see nothing like 90 fps or anything like that uh, but let's see how it handles in 60 fps and also you get a gaming mode like this and also 14 windows you can see it's kept a balanced let me go into performance mode a little bit boosted but battery life will be affected definitely you need to keep in mind these things guys also using magix models you can use increase the fps count smoothness is quite good here yeah it is smooth actually yeah finally done with that but the gameplay is really good as you can see it's very very smooth very much responsive the game is also optimized in their new version i really like it but if you're watching lately then maybe with updates the game might have been updated as you can see currently it is quite fast here the bgma experience is really good in this particular rom as you can see yeah while playing classic matches might make little bit different but i can understand that but in 60 fps this is one of the best gameplay you can get in this particular rom i really like it in this poco x3 pro 
if you have any specific questions regarding this room comment down in the comment section guys and watch full video then you can comment down guys because everything will be explained in this video 33 watt charging support is also given in this rom i really like this kind of roms it's a good rom available for poco x3 pro and if you like the video give it a like we'll meet you with another interesting video guys until that keep smiling bye bye for now